Good morning and good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. And we are not going to be using any weights. Um, it's going to be a body weight burn. So all you need is yourself and your mat. Should be pretty easy. So let's get started with some stretching. Go ahead and open up your legs. Reach your hands forward. Try and touch the ground. Gently roll yourself back up. And again, touch the ground. Slowly roll up. And again, slowly roll down, touch the ground. Roll yourself up. Good. Come into a standing position. What do my dogs want already? Say, did you walk him? Okay, well, they want me. Get it over there. Walk, roll it forward. Get those shoulders loosened up. We really want to get these shoulders loosened up because they're going to support you on several exercises today. Okay, cross your arm and pull. Cross your arm and pull. There's going to be several uh, planking, push-ups, positions. Not quite a push-up, but just those push-ups. Switch from one side to the other. Good, shake it off, reach forward and back. Good, tippy toes, tippy toes reaching, reaching for the ceiling. Go onto your tippy toes. If you can't stay on them, come down and then come back up. So we're trying to stretch out those calf muscles on your toes. This also helps your balance. So if you can walk around on your toes, it helps your balance because it's strengthening and using those calf muscles. So, good, come down. If you can't balance on your tippy toes, then, you know, that's just something to work on. And it just, unless you have an injury, you may not be able to. Open up your legs, reach your hand down and other one over. Try and reach for your toe. Feel that stretch all the way into your hip. Slide up and go to the other side. Feel that stretch. Again, switch. Motion. 
Sometimes it's harder to do it in slow motion than fast. So I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'll do it slow. The so slight squat in your legs, and then a hip twist. Hip, twist, hip, twist. Kind of like you're jumping on a surfboard, if you've ever done that or seen somebody do that. Jump. It's a twist in your torso. Okay, that's our very first one. Then our second one is gonna be a curtsy lunge. So it's just a step back at an angle. Step back, then switch sides. Step back at a little bit of an angle. Okay, curtsy lunge like you're doing a curtsy. And then the third one is going to be a bridge, which I'll show you on the ground. A bridge where we're laying flat on our backs and then we lift up our legs at the same time. So we'll show you that one when I get there. Ready? Pop, squat, twist. Yes, I am recording. Does it say recording? It says recording on my screen. So, yes, okay, it says recording. Okay, ready, go. Twist, pop. Like you're jumping on a surfboard. Get that twist. But you see how your upper torso is just stand, staying still? Last five. So I'm looking straight and I'm twisting my hips. And stop. Take a deep breath. We have those curtsy lunges next. I'm gonna do it kind of at an angle so that you can see. Ready? And go side, side. Side. So if you're on your mat, you want your foot to go just off of the mat and do a little bunch. If you can't do this because of knee problems, just do a regular reverse lunge straight back. Either way, last one and stop. Woo! Heart rate's getting up, right? Okay, going down to the mat. Remember, first time through, we're just getting comfortable. We'll go faster. <laughs> Sorry. Getting dry, I can't say it. It's not a lot of water. I talk too much. <laughs> Okay, so a bridge lift, walk out, lift up, step, step, while holding a bridge. My level one people, if you cannot hold the bridge, just practice lifting your core up and down, off the ground, don't worry about the walkout. Okay, but those that can lift yourself up, and walk, follow me, okay? Here we go. Ready, and go. Up, walk it out. While holding that bridge. Level one, if you cannot walk it out, that's fine. Level one, you just might be lifting up and center. That's level one. Level two, you're holding it and stop. Good job. Those are our first three exercises. We're gonna go through it. I'm gonna have to adjust the camera each time. Okay, we're gonna go through that two more times. This time it's a little bit faster because you know what we're doing. So it'll just be like 10 seconds rest, okay? First time is a lot more um, explanation. Okay, ready for that pop squat twist. Let's go. Think of, envision a surfboard underneath you and try and stay 
on it. So you're twisting your legs to get onto that surfboard. And then the width of your feet is staying to stay on it as well. Keeping your upper torso pretty straight. Three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, curtsy lunges. Ready? And go. Feet are slightly off the mat. Slightly off, so it's a little bit of an angle. If you have any problems, don't worry. Just take a step back, straight head, straight back. That's a little bit less pressure on your knees. Last three, two, and one. Stop. Take it down to the ground for the bridge walkout. Ready? And go. You might be only able to see my feet. Just keep holding that bridge as best as possible and walking out one foot at a time. Last five. Three, two, and one. Good job. Back up to our feet. You getting hot? It should be. Should be, because we did that one a lot faster. Ready and go for that top squat. Twist. Breathe in. Three, two, and one. Good, stop. Curtsy lunge is next. Whew. Three seconds more rest. Ready, and go. Slight angle, nothing too crazy. Just get that foot gently up off of your mat at an angle. Last one. Good. Back down to the bridge walkout. Breathe in. Ready and go. between a forearm plank and a full plank. 
You don't have to go fast. The focus is being in a plank position. So we're just rotating through it. The second one is what a lot of you guys have issues with, including in myself. It's going to be the triangle push-up. So we go into this triangle pose, right? And then we come down in our forearms to the ground and then push ourselves up again. So it's like that, that dip up very slow using our triceps. So elbows stay tucked in, bring it back and then drop down and up. Just do it as best as you can. It's a lot of tricep work. So you might remember from last time we did it, like it was pretty difficult. But if you can't do it, just do what you can do. You will get stronger. And we'll, you'll only be able to do that rotation like maybe four or five times because of the timing. And then the last one is either on your forearm or on a full plank. And we're gonna be rotating up and then up. You can do it on your forearm and on your knees. My level one people, this is your position. Knees and forearms. So we modify it to be on our knees. Level two, you're in a high plank position the whole time. So I ran through it all pretty fast. Now let's go through it straight. 30 seconds. Get in a plank position. It's a plank push-up. Down and up. Nice and slow. We're just alternating between a forearm and a high plank push-up. This is less of an arm workout, more of a core burn. Three, two, and one. Good. Next one, we have the triangle. Okay, do the best you can. Let's go. Keep those elbows tucked in. Push yourself back into a triangle position. Stretching out those back legs. Drop down your weight with your triceps. And then push up. Then go back into a triangle position. Drop it down with your triceps. And push up. Woo! I can already feel it. Last one. Drop it down. Nice and slow, push it up. See, we were only able to get to three, so not too bad. But it's a lot of pressure on your triceps by keeping those elbows tucked in and creating that slow dip and rise, okay? So, two more times, ready? Oh no, that was only number two. Sorry, that's why I write things down. Plank position, high plank, rotate twist. So hold it for a couple seconds, back down, one, two, back down, one, two, keep it going, you should be sweating, I am sweating, planks are really good for workout, last one, Good. That was our third one. Now we're going through it two more times. So back to that. Plank push up, rotating our arms to support ourselves. Here we go. My level one people, you can do this on your knees. Down, up, down, up. But everybody else, come into that plank. Of course, I want you to always try, but if you can't do it, I have to give you a modification so you don't just do nothing. Good job. And stop. Whew. Take a deep breath. Let that blood flow come up. Next one, we have our triangle. Dip and slide. Ready? Get into that triangle position. Push yourself back. Tuck your elbows in, lower yourself to the mat, and come up. If you can't, we're just doing it as 
best as you can. Try and get into that triangle stretch. Drop your triceps. Back in. Good. Stretch. One more. Okay. So, you saw the first time, I don't know if you noticed, but if you see on replay, the first time I did that, I lowered myself all the way to the ground, which uh, kind of defeats the purpose of the slide, but it's just, I kind of, oh, sorry. I kind of uh, lost hold. So you, you could go here all the way to the ground, and then you push yourself up, right? That, you could do that, but if you're trying to do it more perfectly, you're in the triangle position, you're sliding yourself down and you're staying off the ground. So if you have to take that dip and lower your whole body to, and do it like in two parts and lower your body to the mat directly, touching the mat, that's okay. But if you wanna try and do it more precisely and more, with more difficulty, keep yourself elevated the whole time. And um, let me tell you a secret. About four months ago, I could not do that. I could not do that move and stay up in the mat. Um, but now I can. So no matter what level you're at, you can still progress. I'm telling you from my own personal experience, you have to, you try new things to try and push yourself. So that's what we're doing. Okay, last one of this circuit, plank rotation. Ready and go. So I like to just explain things like that to you guys to encourage you that everyone, no matter their level, can continue to progress. I've got some people in this class that can keep up with me really well. And then obviously I have some that need a little bit more time. And both are good. Go ahead and stop. The fact is, is that you guys are continuing to move your body and take notice of where you get stronger. So we celebrate all, all growth. Ready for that all over again? Last set. Plank, push up. Ready? And go. Down, hold it, put it up, hold it. Down, hold it, up, hold it. We're rotating between each one. Last three. Woo! Good job. Okay, we have that triangle press. I just explained to you the last one how to do it more precisely. See if you can do it. Okay, into the triangle. Slide yourself down, push yourself up. Back into a triangle. Floating off the ground. trying your best and just keep on going and the next time we do it maybe you might notice that you do better it's also a coordination thing you have to keep practicing just to get that full coordination of that slide and get your triceps to support you so go easy on yourself if you couldn't do it so great okay last one plank rotation Level one, you're on your knees. 
be too fast today, but you should be you should be feeling the burns, even though we're uh, not doing things super super fast. Ready and go, Superman. Focus on your form. Trying to lift up those legs.
It's called a prisoner walk. So, because they're usually handcuffed. Sorry, terrible name, but hands behind your head like a prisoner. You're lowering yourself down to the ground, bringing yourself back up, and then a hop. Okay? If you level one cannot get back down and back up without the support of a chair, have a chair nearby that you can lower yourself down and lower yourself back up. Also, Down, up, hop. Rotating which leg is coming up first? If you forget, it's okay, but just try and, you know, even it out. Or if it works in your face to do like three or four, one side, and then switch to the other. Last one. Woo! Good job. Good job. Second one. We're going back down into a plank. But we're going to add step out, step out jacks or step out hops. So, what does that mean? We're down here, out, and in. Level one, step it out. Step it out like a step out jack. Level two, you're hopping with. Ready? And go. In and out. Halfway through. Three, two. So this circuit is more considered high intensity because of the hopping. We have prisoner, whew, prisoner walkouts. Next, ready? And go. Straight into it. Slow it down. Last one. Woo. Come back down to the mat. Told you this one goes fast. We only have two. That are two different exercises rotating through. Go into your plank. Ready? And go. Step out for my level one. Just like so. Or if you need a breather, take it, step out. Otherwise, go back into the hop. Three, two, and one. Woo. Catch your breath. Good job. Back to the prisoner walkouts. Your thighs are probably burning. That's okay. Deep breath. Here we go. Step up. Hop. It doesn't have to be fast. Last one. Woo. Back down. Catch your breath. Heart rate is up. This is high intensity. 
We only have one more round after this one. Ready? And go. You can do a step out jack. If you need more of a breather, breather time. If you need more of a rest. Step it out. Four top. Their heart rate should be up. Minus. We got prisoner walkout. Last set. You should be sweaty. I'm pretty hot. This fan is not working. It is working, but you know, I'm really hot. I just don't want that cold air blowing on me, you know? Okay, ready? Prisoner squats. I mean, prisoner walkout. I hope none of us ever have to be in this position. Oops, I forgot to pop. Too busy talking. Up and down, pop. It's just gross. <laughs> this is really high shine. <laughs> but you know, gotta keep it real. So, I'll give you a minute rest because that one was a little bit more high intensity. But the next one, watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna do caterpillar walkout. And then a um, slight hop forward, level two and above. Level one, watch me. Level one, here we go. Try to reach the floor. You do a bear crawl. And then from here, you're gonna do a step out. So it's like what we are doing, then you do a bear claw back up. So level one, down to your knees, step, step, walk it back, crawling up. Level two, you're gonna do a full walk out. And then you're gonna do a burpee hop. Burpee hop, in, out, walk it back up. So that's where your intensity is gonna be intensified. You're gonna hop it forward and then walk your hands back like a caterpillar and bring it back to a standing. That's the first one. Then, the second one, we're doing a lot of planks. I told you our shoulders. You want those nice looking shoulders? Today's workout helps it. Plank, walk out. So you're in a plank and then you walk your hands forward and then back. Okay, so we walk it forward and then back and then we walk it side and then back. So we make a little we make a little T in a plank. So we walk our hands forward, walk it back, walk our hands to the side, and then walk it back. Level one, you're on your knees the whole time, okay? You're on your knees the whole time, so it'll look like this. Out, walk it back like a T, walk it back, walk it forward, walk it back. That's level one. 
So level one, you stay on your knees. Level two, you're in a full plank. So, okay, ready for the caterpillar walk out? Your minutes up. Here we go. Caterpillar, walk out. Murphy hop, in and out, and then back up, okay? Once you get your rhythm, keep it going.
could get a little dizzy on those. Because it's up and down. Okay. Last set of caterpillar walkouts. No, not caterpillar. Walkout plates. Here we go. I'm gonna have to fix my hair before our next picture. <laughs> Just all over the place. Walk it forward. Walk it back. See which one's more challenging. Is it that full forward plank? Or is it the walkout T side plank? Which one is it? Take notice. Walk it forward. Hold it. Walk it back, last one. Walk it out. And walk it back. Good job, guys. Good job. I'm gonna have to fix this. Because it's really falling. Good job. Okay, we're almost to our stretching. We just have a few more minutes. Okay. Okay, we just have a couple more. We're gonna do some cardio and then we're stretching it out. Good stretch. Come up to your feet with me. It feels good though. Have it. Maybe it's the combination of like no air condition. I turned the air off. I just really wanted a good sweat. So I guess I'm getting it. See, I'm changing the song to match it. We're going to do some of the same moves, just standing up. So remember our pop squat? This one, we're gonna do that one. Then we're going to do our crunching. Ready and go. Thank you. 
Slow it down. Level one, people. If you need. Woo! But you don't have to. This is all you have to do. You're done. Woo! Take a deep breath. Grab a sip of water. Then meet me down on this mat. Okay, guys. Good job. I just about finished my water. I think it is finished. Okay, how'd you do? Sweating? Yeah. I see your thumbs up. Good job. Down here on the mat. Stretch out your leg. Cross one over the other, elbow in front of the knee, and then gently twist. Deep breath during this time. Deep breath. And twist. Switch sides. I 
I hope you are too. Woo. Oh boy. Hello. What a genuine sweaty selfie we have today. I will bring you into gallery view. See, the thing is, is I just don't want anybody to feel left out. If they're, you know, feeling all sweaty, I want them to know that they're not alone, that we're in it together, right? Yes. So I see your faces and they are glowing. Let me get a picture. Ready to say hello? Show yourself to the camera. One, two, three, cheese. Good job, guys. I congratulate all of you for getting through that. That was not an easy one, was it? It was um, a lot of, I wanted today to be focused on core without a lot of bouncing. So, you know, a lot of core moves, you know, sit up crunches, all that type of thing is a lot of head, head forward. And so some people don't do well with that with their neck. Um, sometimes it gets like, um, it just feels it's weak or it makes them dizzy. A lot of people get dizzy or, uh, you know, so just the, all that up and down. So I really wanted to do something else that focuses on your core that doesn't involve a lot of bouncing. And planking is always it. So planking strengthens so many different muscle groups from your shoulders to your arms, to your legs, to your core, to your back. It's really a full body exercise all in one. So if ever you're, you're just like, not feeling it for the day and you need a quick pick me up, try doing five minutes of plank off and on, like 30 seconds rest, 30 seconds rest, and just do different versions of the plank. So like today we did like four or five different versions of the plank with our arms raised up and down. We did the elbow push up planks. We did all different. So if you just do multiple versions of your plank on a day, you're just not feeling it, it will wake you up in a full body quick sense. So anyways. Hi, Mason. I love it that the kids pop in. Hi, everybody. Hi, Corey. Hi, Christina. Nice to have you guys on here. I know it's hard for you guys to make it with the time zone difference. You guys are like all over the place. So thank you guys. The rest of us are in Guam. We love seeing everybody today and we'll see you on Thursday or Wednesday or on replay. So oh, good seeing everyone. Christina, bye, everyone. Bye. 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 I'll be sending Bye. out the replay soon. Bye. 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 Bye.